Alright guys, I want to show you how to make a simple enemy AI in Godot. Our base project here, your green arrow and there's red arrows that are the enemies. So I'm going to show you how to add some life to them using a state machine. So the first thing you're going to want to do is add an area 2D and call this alert. Now what you want to do is make this not monitorable so that other things can't detect it. But if you're trying to detect static bodies, then it needs to be monitorable. It's just a weird physics thing. No layer, of course. And then the mask will be whatever you want to target, such as a player. And now we're going to add a collision shape and call this radius. And now the radius is going to be, of course, the only uh, geometric shape with a radius, a circle. And now what we're going to do is in our scripts, in the alert, we're going to say on body entered. And now we're going to make a variable called targeted entity. We're going to set that value to null. We're also going to make another variable called state, which we will set it to, we're actually going to set it to wander. So now on alert body entered, if not is instance valid, which is a better way of checking if, a tar if an entity is null, targeted entity, then we're going to say targeted entity equals, equals body and state equals chase. Now, in the process function, we're going to write some code here. If state equals chase rotation equals global position dot angle to point targeted entity dot global position. All right, let's check if that works. Alright, so one weird thing about angle to point is that it is inverted. Also, another weird thing is that angle to, uh, the more commonly used function, doesn't work. Or at least I can't get it to work. And it only returns values from negative 20 to 20, which resulted in some frustrating errors. So what we're going to do is plus deg to rad 180. And that should fix our problem. We're being judged by the red arrows. Now the next thing we're going to add is movement. Move and slide. Uh, we're going to say vector to cos of rotation, comma, sine of rotation. And then outside the vector to, we're going to write times. And then let's say 200. And let's see how that works. Great! Now the enemies are chasing us. They're a bit too fast, though. Let's make that more 120. There we go. Now we've got a nice enemy system. But one problem is that you can't run away from them. So let's add a second area 2D called Vision. Now Vision, again, not monitorable. And it's going to be detecting, again, player. The exact same stuff with the radius. Except this time, the radius is going to be bigger, like twice as big. And now what we're going to do is on body exit. If is instance valid targeted entity, which is the opposite, targeted entity equals null and state equals wander. Now, why don't we just do this with alert? Well, this is because if the player is just sees the enemy all of a sudden going towards them, we don't want them to immediately go out of the alert zone and then totally just miss this battle. That wouldn't be very fun. So you have to get far enough away from it. So let's add a camera and this is just to check if everything is working and just make it really zoomed out. All right, now let's test if it works. That guy stopped and they all stopped. All right, now if state equals wander, then we're gonna do, oh, right, we're gonna make a new variable called wander and it equals open simplex noise dot new. This will create a new instance of the object open sim simplex noise, which is made by Godot. Thank you for that. And now in the ready fu uh, function, we're gonna call randomize wander dot period equals 
Okay, let's make a new resource and uh, noise texture. Uh, call it preview. And this is helpful for just viewing to see what it would look like. So preview.trez, we're going to add a new noise. And now every time we hit save, it's going to update and we can see it down here. So now the period is basically the zoom. As we keep zooming in. 256 is the most zoomed in. And then 0 0.1 is the most zoomed out, which is basically just static. And then octaves, you've probably heard a th about a thing called fractal noise, if you watch any other game dev channel. Uh, and it's basically just uh, a bunch of layered noise that does less and less, that has less and less effect on the overall texture, and it also gets more zoomed out. So if we have three octaves, and that's doing that three times, and then if we have one octave, this is just simple noise. Very simple noise. See? Very smooth and very simple. And we usually want that for wandering noise. And then we'll just make the period, like, uh, let's set it to 140, and then wander.seed equals rand range 0 to 10,000. All right. Now, what we can do is if state equals wander, then rotation plus equals another variable, var time equals zero. Rotation plus equals wander dot get noise 1D, which basically you give it a value, it returns a value. And uh, we're going to say time times delta so that it's not too strong. And then we're also going to say time plus equals five and of course you can change that if it looks weird and then we're just gonna do and then make them a little slower if you want to that's up to you and yeah i don't think i'm missing anything so now if i get far enough away from them yeah, now they start to wander. Let's just go off screen. Now we can see them start to wander. And then if I alert them, then they start chasing me. And this is pretty good. I mean, of course, it probably... We should probably make this a little stronger and you can fiddle with the settings to make it better, but this is pretty good on its own. But if you want a more realistic AI that's not meant to be an enemy that doesn't care if it dies, if you want something more realistic, for example, the slimes in my game have a new state, not just chase or wander, run away. So how do we check for this state? It's very simple. Well, first it's copy and paste this code and then just remove this and we could also make this a little bit slower so basically on alert body entered we do an if else if body dot health is greater than our health then we should probably be scared so we would say targeted entity well now that i'm detecting that there's two of them we're gonna do that that's just gonna be state equals run away else state equals chase so let's check if that works they're all scared of us because their health is five and my health is ten so what if you have an enemy that's weaker than the player but you still want it to attack then what we do is we say body dot health minus five and that's a nice way to just give it an offset and now they're chasing us so yeah, that's just the basics of making a state machine. It's, it's, I really like how easy it is to just make new states. You just make another area 2D if it, if it even needs an, a new area 2D, depending on what they're detecting. 
and then you just check if there's already a targeted entity and then you can make a new state and it's super easy and fun to use. So yeah, that's the tutorial. Except there is one more thing. You don't have to keep watching after this because the main tutorial is done, but just in case uh, you don't know how to make it so that they can attack you, well, here's that. So you're gonna wanna make an area 2D, call this attack make it not monitorable again no layer and then the mask of what they're gonna attack in this case player now uh on body entered what we're gonna do is uh body dot health minus equals damage or if you don't want to have a damage variable for whatever reason obviously and then if you want to this only means that w once they get to you then they'll just stop and never attack again because of how entering works but we don't want that we would want we would want them to keep attacking so what you can do is set monitoring to false and then have a timer that every 0.1 seconds Monitoring equals true, but the better way to do it is to add knockback to the player or to the enemy when they attack. So yeah, that's the tutorial. Thanks for watching, and let me know in the comments if you have any problems with it, or if you want me to make a more in-depth tutorial on how to make even better AIs, but yeah. That was my tutorial. Thanks for watching. Like, sub, bell. Goodbye!